Hello everyone, in today's video I will be sharing my top 10 Microsoft Flight Simulator utilities available for free on PC. I've picked these utilities and tools as they enhance, improve and add value to the sim, at least in my opinion. Of course we're not talking about scenery or aircraft in this video, just utilities. This list is in no particular order and indeed you may disagree, so leave any suggestions you have in addition to this video down below. On that note, be sure you subscribe to the channel for the most diverse array of flight sim content on the internet. I don't like to ask, but only 26% of you are subscribed, so please, at the very least, consider it. And while you're at it, give the video a little like as well. On that note, let's get on with it. The top 10 utilities for Microsoft Flight Sim. Now, the sim is amazing, and with such a stunning recreation of our wonderful world to fly throughout it can be very difficult to pick your next flight. Well, if you're set upon flying realistic scheduled routes, the software Flight Sim Dispatch is here to help. This is an application that allows you to select real world routes to fly in your sim drawn from a massive database. You can filter by aircraft type flight duration, arrival or destination ports, or airports I should say, the year in which the real world flight was flown, and indeed you can leave it totally up to random. Now I should just say this doesn't create a flight plan for you, it's just giving you arrival and departure inspiration. With 4.9 million flights on their system, going all the way back to 1950, the world really is your oyster, and it's a fantastic tool if you've got an aircraft type in mind, maybe an airline in mind as well, and you'd like to find perfect routes to fly to get as close to reality as possible but that being said it is a fantastic tool for inspiration as well now once you've selected where you are flying and vfr pilots can stand by for a similar utility uh, in this zone you will want to grab your flight plan simbrief remains the ultimate freeware utility for this purpose now i know that many of you will be familiar with this and feel free to skip this bit if you've heard of it before but if you have not simbrief is a free flight planning tool that will generate realistic flight plans and briefings in comprehensive packages ready to be exported to your sim or other applications as you desire. Now SimBrief is superb, I and many others will have been using it for years. It provides you with all the data you need for real world style IFR airliner flights although you can sort of use it for other forms of flying providing you with the route itself, payload, any NOTAMs, weather and plenty more information. Simbrief, it's amazing basically that it's still free. It really kills so many birds with one stone and I have to say I'd be lost without it, quite literally. Now, once you're in the sim and loading all the data into your airliner, or maybe something a bit smaller, getting ready to fly away, unless you've killed a lot of trees and printed off all the flight paperwork, or indeed have more than one monitor, you may find yourself flipping between windows to get your data from SimBrief and input it into your aircraft. Now this can take time and effort, but there is an easier way. With SimBrief Panel, this shows all the data you've just made in SimBrief, but within a Microsoft Flight Simulator window. And therefore, once you get this window open, it's ridiculously easy to copy all your data. A true lifesaver, especially when you're in your FMC trying to remember your route. Now once you're all ready to go, if you're in an airliner you may find yourself needing to push back to a good level of precision. Now Microsoft Flight Sim's default ATC pushback is near on impossible to get that level of precision with, especially if you're on something like VATSIM and need to make sure you're in the right spot. But the humble toolbar pushback is there to save you. Now, admittedly, this tool isn't as good as it used to be. You used to be able to pre-plan your pushback meaning that it would basically do all the work for you. That feature is somewhat broken nowadays, you can just about get by at some airports with it, but bigger airports especially, you can't zoom out on the pre-planned map, so that's an issue. That being said, you can still use the sliders in the menu to control pushback, and that works just enough, although my precision on the video I'm showing you probably isn't good enough, but we just got by. 
which is a lot more precise than speaking to air traffic control. Toolbar pushback also still can control ground services, so if you haven't invested in GSX, this is a pretty good tool to control that part of your sim. Now going back to flight planning for a little bit longer, little nav map is a perfect application for those of you who are more inclined to flight sim in a more non-commercial manner. While little nav map can be used for IFR flying, IFR standing for instrument flight rules, um, which is the sort of uh, flight classification airliners will fly to, and some other aircraft of course, I have to say little nav map is perfect for visual flight rule flight planning, a bit of a tongue twister there. See it as sort of flight sim sky demon or foreflight if you will. Now its interface is not the cleanest, but much like with aeronautical charts in real life, little nav map displays a vast array of data for across the world. From airspace classes to pointy heels to watch out for, to local visual reference points or VRPs, whatever you call them in your country. It will even connect up to your sim and show you where you are flying and present to you surrounding air and marine traffic. It really is a Swiss army knife when it comes to more rudimental flight planning. However you fly, you may find a very good use for it. Much like SimBrief, your data can be exported in a variety of ways, including directly into the sim. So if you've got a certain flight you'd like to fly, Little Nav Map may be the perfect flight planning solution for it. Now, one of the most nerdy parts of flight simming is when we try and recreate real life airliner flights. It can be great fun, especially if you're one of those people that tracks a Flight Radar 20 floor flight in real life and tries to follow it to real time, which I haven't done myself before as it's pretty difficult but I know a few of you do. Now to achieve this some of us may find ourselves needing to use paper charts or plates which can display a variety of aeronautical data from airport maps with taxiway layouts to approach charts. I'm displaying some on the screen for reference. Now to access these you might think you need to purchase a subscription on something like Navigraph but there's actually a website called Chartfox which has plenty on offer for 100% free. The only requirement is that you have a free VATSIM account which is a virtual air traffic control network we will be talking about later. Now all you do on Chartfox is pop in the airport you need charts for and hey presto, you have access to plenty of relevant charts. Now it should be said some may be out of date, but for the most part they're free so who can complain. So if you find yourself needing to not get lost at an airport and needing to find some taxiway charts, or indeed you're flying a tricky approach and want to keep out of the way of some mountains, however you fly, Chartfox is free, highly recommended, so who can complain. So now you know how to happily fly, what about if you want to get some screenshots or videos en route? Microsoft Flight Sim has a few defects when it comes to this regard. The white handlebar that flashes at the top of your screen every time you use a mouse and a white a dot that pops up on your screen every time you use a controller. Well, two add-ons included for the price of one here. Toolbar handle remover and a white dot remover. They do exactly what they say on the tin. Install these add-ons and you'll never be bothered by the evil white bar or white dot again. Highly recommended, especially if you like to get some screenshots of your flight and don't want a little white thing in the way. Now, watching your own landings back, good or bad, is one of the most aesthetic pleasing parts of this great hobby and that's why replay tools are so bloody important while Microsoft Flight Sim does indeed have an inbuilt replay tool, at least in beta, on PC, it is a bit overcomplicated and at least at the moment is not the best free replay solution. That would have to be SkyDolly, a steadfast application I have used for years now to watch my flights back. It is relatively easy to set up once you've got it connected to the sim, you press record and your flight's movement and your plane's movement, I should say, will be tracked. Uh, taking into account the state of the landing gear, um, occasionally throttle, uh, depending on the aircraft, flaps and lights. And then you're good to watch it back. It has a wide array of functions that extend further than indeed just being able to watch your flights back. Occasionally there are some hiccups, but all for free. Uh, I would say while no replay tools are perfect, this one is indeed very close. Now as we approach 
uh, to the end of this video, one of the most uh, fulfilling things you can do in Microsoft Flight Sim, at least in my opinion, is hop onto an online network for live air traffic control. Easy five five eight, Golden Tower low, wind three zero zero degrees, nine knots, on the two five left, get the land. Glitterland runway 25 left, DZ588. Both VATSIM and OVAO and their associated software offer this service for free, however you fly. Now there is somewhat of a significant learning curve when it comes to flying with online ATC and both services do indeed offer training for it, as speaking to fellow sim pilots and controllers can frankly be somewhat daunting, but the boost in realism really is out of this world. At times you may indeed find yourself forgetting that you're sat at your PC and not in the flight deck of a 737 or A320. These communities that go around VATSIM and IVAO for the most part could be considered one of the best parts of desktop simulation. It really is great fun when it works. Stressful at times but much like flying in real life that's all part and parcel of it. I'd really recommend joining an online air traffic control organisation if you want to boost the immersion of your float simming. To wrap up now that we have addressed plenty of ways to improve your flying with a wide collection of utilities for however you fly, what about keeping track of all your flights? Well in my opinion Orbix's Volanta remains the best tool for this job, acting as a sort of social network. To keep a log of all your flights including the route, associated statistics, screenshots and indeed your landing performance. Volanta displays plenty of data in a modern and user-friendly way. I have to say there is a premium version of Volanta but frankly the free version is still very good. That being said I have had some issues with autosave causing a bit of lag on my sim in the past but that seems to be remedied nowadays. However many times you fly a month is shown on Volanta as well as plenty um, of group data. You can also complete some challenges on there, add friends on there, track your flights. I mean it really is an endless list, it is a great tool. Ladies and gents, there we have my top 10 utilities for Microsoft Flight Sim on PC, all for free. There have been some great contenders that have missed out on my list, but that doesn't mean they aren't great, so do share your thoughts down below. Of of course, another brilliant utility is the very channel you are on now, so be sure to subscribe for Microsoft Flight Sim news, tips and tricks, reviews and plenty more. Just the other day I was sharing the news of a Boeing 787-9 being worked on for Microsoft Flight Sim on PC. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and at least taken away one thing from it that will enhance your flying, or indeed add value to your sim. On that note guys, thank you so much for watching, be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Have a brilliant day. Bye-bye.